तो स्टूडेंट इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी विल लुक एट हाउ पीपल हैक यूजिंग द लिमिटेशन ऑफ जावा स्क्रिप्ट हाउ हैकिंग इज परफॉर्म दिस कोर्स इज नॉट अबाउट हैकिंग आई विल ओनली गिव यू अ वेरी स्मॉल आइडिया अबाउट वॉट कैन हैपन नाउ इफ द प्रोग्रामर्स थिंक एंड दे अज्यूम दैट वॉट एवर गोज इन टू द वेब सर्वर इज वेलीडेटेड इज सैनिटाइज दिस इज फार फ्रॉम द ट्रुथ दैट इज नॉट गोइंग टू हैपन पीपल विल ऑलवेज फाइंड वेज of circumventing the validation which is implemented at the client side using javascript so what is the purpose of javascript the purpose of javascript at the client side when enabled is pre validation that is it pre validation the actual validation has to take place at the server end otherwise things can happen which are undesirable and which can create lot of embarrassing situations also to say the least So what is the module coverage? Here it is. We will look at a simple catalog order system. I will show you uh, how it works very very briefly. Show you the JavaScript and show you what will happen when the JavaScript is enabled and when it is disabled. And of course, very brief analysis and conclusion. This course is not about hacking. So uh, this is the uh, the screen of a catalog order system, and you can see that the grass is good. green okay there are less weeds there are less weeds okay and the owner of this lawn okay is selling the weeds okay since the weeds are very less so they are highly priced 100 dollars per blade of the weed okay and here you enter you enter the number of leaves number of leaves okay this is not a hashtag and then you click over here and place the order right so this is the scenario over here and uh, the javascript which is corresponding to this code is over here catalog order code okay it has the javascript and it has the validation also to check how many leaves are ordered okay now let's see what happens so we over here the person the javascript is enabled the person enters the number of leaves okay leaves is equal to 3 and the price is correctly shown as Three hundred dollars, because it is hundred dollars per leaf, per leaf of the weed. Okay, right. Now over here, the JavaScript is still enabled, and the number of leaves from three. Okay, over here it is changed to four. So I have this error message over here. Okay, unit three. Okay, this is only allowed. So JavaScript is enabled. Now what happens is that somebody. okay what we can do is they disable the javascript and then they enter a large number of the weeds so you see leaves over here there is a big big number over here right and this will go to the database server this will go to the database server and it will create all sorts of problems why this happened because this person over here disabled the javascript disabled the javascript there was no pre validation okay there was no pre validation and it went directly and the what is the problem the problem is that that person who is selling the weed does not have that required number of leaves of the weeds to sell and that creates a very you have to say embarrassing situation and how that person is going to provide cannot provide right so what is happened so what is happened over here is that something which was unexpected which was naive to assume that people have not disabled their javascript and people do worse over here they actually change the price of the items so if the item is like $1000 they can make it $100 and they can uh, use the uh, uh, those extensions within the with passing from the page to the server right like put and get okay and then they can create all sorts of problems why because the javascript was disabled and it was wrongly assumed that it will not be disabled now can't force people to turn on their javascript it's the people's own choice and it is very difficult very difficult to ensure all the time 100% of the time that the javascript is, is is enabled or disabled while a person is placing an order at you at your at the client side the enabled or disabled it cannot be ensured so what is the solution the only solution is that validate at the server end so what is the purpose of javascript 
the purpose of javascript is pre validation at the client end that's about it don't make wrong assumptions okay otherwise you will be in problem that is all for you in this module thank you very much